okay and I, I can use it however this is creating a problem and the problem here is that I can now make a mistake for example obj.c equal 500 okay this is because the variables are public and since they are public this means anyone can access them from anywhere and also we don't want to do that so what's the solution if you make them private you won't be able to perform inheritance if you make them public you can access them from anywhere and you might create mistakes logical mistakes in your code the solution is to use a third keyword which is called the protected okay protected now protected means that these variables are protected from any kind of access outside the class and they can be accessed uh, uh, can be accessed from within this class or any class that inherits them so now let's let let me show you what does this mean so now if i write obj dot c equal 10 i am getting an error uh, and you can check the error saying here it's a protected okay now if i go to to the contact with sort okay and try to access the value of c let's say like this okay I can see here that I I can uh, modify the value of the counter without any problem okay so basically uh, this uh, this helps me uh, specify the access level of the attributes or the variables of my of my class okay it 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 also helps shielding the users uh, the, sorry, shielding the programmers from all the complexity. Now let's use our new class. Now uh, this one is called contact with sort. So I come here. I will change this to contact with sort. Sorry, contacts with sort. And uh, where's the load method? contacts with sort as you can see here now this one should behave exactly the same we only added the sort method so let's run this one add and let's add smith you can see it's working now let's uh, we didn't add the sort uh, to the to the interface so here tools let's add sort double click that and obj dot sort followed by obj dot sorry dot full okay so we are sorting the items and then following the data grid view let's run this application here add a contact smith uk okay contacts another one this time michael us okay add adam okay uk as well let's say okay go to tools select sort and you can see that all the names are sorted okay so this was a very quick example showing you uh, how to make inheritance okay uh, one important thing is that why do you need inheritance why not copy the code okay uh, since we created the the class contact list we are able to access the code however in many cases when you develop big uh, applications 
uh, you won't use uh, the source code instead you will be using a library or DLL files and uh, most of these libraries they don't give you the source code all you can all you can do uh, is you have the documentation and uh, you want to perform inheritance of the classes so that you can improve an existing functionality no no one usually gives you the source code uh, unless it's some kind of open source project or something like that okay so later on uh, you, you will need to understand these features uh, because you will need to use them okay um, that will be all for today hope this helps you more with the classes uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions or any kind of notes please send them to, to me also check out the website so that you can download the other tutorials you can download the source files uh, that's all for today Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.